Hello everyone. Welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn about how to clean and transform data in Power Query Editor in Power BI Desktop. So data cleaning is one of the uh, most important tasks in uh, data analysis because um, clean data can deliver a reliable um, results which uh, can be used in decision making okay so let's get started here i am here in power bi desktop and i have a file in a csv format so i'm go uh, i'm going to get that file here by clicking this get data button and by clicking this text slash csv option So uh, this monthly sales by product subcategory, I have that file which I wanted to use it. Okay, so this is our data preview and I'm going to click on transform data to uh, get me this file in Power Query Editor. Okay, so here we are in a Power Query Editor and in left pane I can see one file which is our file uh, in uh, as a one query and here is my data table. Whatever the transformation we make here or actions we take in Power Query uh, that is going to record here under applied steps um, one by one. Okay. So if you do not want any change after you made the change, uh, for example, you delete the column and now you want back that column uh, in your data, then you just click on that step uh, on this red cross and you will get your data back as before the change. Okay. And so this data table has, it shows here, I have 15 columns and 37 rows. Okay, so let's get started. Now, first thing first, for any data to read properly, you need a column headers. And you can see that I don't have a column headers. So first thing, we need to uh, make the column headers. Now, from this... Uh, this uh, like January, February, all those months, uh, they should be the headers uh, of that column um, as uh, this is the sales data of that month. Okay, so let's remove the first row uh, and for that I'm here on the home screen. And I'm, I can see here to remove the rows under the reduced rows. So I click on remove rows and I have a couple of options here. However, the first option is remove top rows, which we want. So I click on that and spec specify how many rows to remove from the top. So in this case, one. Now we wanted to make these headers. So uh, I am here again on the home screen ribbon and under the transform option, we have an option use first row as headers. So let me click on that. And then I have two options use first row as headers or use headers as first row. So in this case, use first row as headers and there you go. So we have a headers now. However, this month header is uh, is incorrect because in that column we have all subcategory, product subcategory. So I'm just going to double click on the header and um, I'm going to give a name as product. subcategory name okay 
then um, as you can see that we have first two columns uh, they are looks like that the product category ID or key but they both are identical so we don't want two columns for that so I'm just going to re remove one column so I just click on that and then from again from the home screen uh, I have an option here manage column and remove column under that so I just click on that and I have two options remove columns or remove other columns so in this case remove columns and that column is removed now okay we can see here step by step on the right hand side um, okay now I wanted to make this as my column header so just right click on that and copy double click on headers and control V which is paste I'm going to remove last three characters key and I'm just going to add ID okay so that column name now is product subcategory ID okay now um, the first two rows on these two columns we don't need that uh, these two rows and all other column first two rows has null in it so we we should remove the first two rows so we're going to remove rows again so from the home uh, you can come to the reduce rows and remove rows okay and remove top rows and for now it's two rows and okay okay so now data looks little bit um, clean compared to what we got here uh, now I wanted to put it all these uh, sales values under the um, months uh, I want that in one column so my sales data in one column basically I'm trying to say so uh, let's do the unpivot because this data is pivoted so uh, when when you have a pivoted data you have a lot of similar data in more columns so in this case all sales data um, they are similar in nature they have just a different headers name uh, and uh, they are in a 12 different columns what we are trying to do here is make a one column of that sales data and then this uh, headers will become or will also uh, become a one uh, column of that that headers so uh, let's do that so I, I we need to click first two columns which we don't want to change okay so I selected both um, columns and now uh, I click on transform from menu and there is a section uh, named any column and there is an option under that unpivot column so let me click on that and I have three options here unpivot columns uh, unpivot other columns and unpivot only selected columns so we don't want any change here on this columns so third option uh, is not for us for now unpivot other columns which we want and so I'm going to click on that and there you go so as we wanted we have two columns here all my sales data are now under value column and uh, um, we have an attribute column now which has all headers of those months and they repeat January to December for each subcategory okay and so now uh, I have a four columns here and 396 rows 
okay i just wanted to um, show you the pivot column as well so we have this new two columns attribute and value selected and now i'm going to click on the pivot column so then let's see what happens okay so pivot columns and now this window is mentioning that use the names in column attribute to create new columns meaning that all month's name uh, january to december they will be the column headers and then values under them the each uh, month that gonna to become a rows of that columns okay and let's click okay so now you can see that we are in a previous stage before we unpivot the data so we are in a same stage we have now 14 columns back and 33 rows um, and these two the first two columns sub product subcategory id and products product subcategory name they are same as they were before unpivoting the data and all the months have their uh, their sales data under in their rows okay so uh, this is a pivot unpivot so you can use it uh, i'm going to remove this uh, pivoted column because we want unpivoted um, data okay so um, yeah and we are back to the unpivoted data so uh, you can use it uh, a pivot unpivot option um, as per um, your requirement and so these are the some of the uh, uh, transformation i showed in this video i am continue uh, with this uh, cleaning and transformation uh, in next video as well uh, so this is all um, uh, in in this video guys thanks for watching and if you like the content then please like comment share and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.